Hi there, I'm Luke Voss. I'm a physical therapist here at MedSport, the Ann Arbor Ice Cube. And today we're just gonna go through a demonstration of how to set up the Alter G treadmill and some of its utilizations with a patient. The first step is we're gonna have to have you put on the Alter G shorts, uh, kind of like compression shorts. Um, comes in multiple sizes, all the way from extra small to 4XL. So can fit uh, basically any and all patients. We always enter from the back. The cockpit adjusts up, up and down, so we'll put it all the way down. The nice thing about this is if you do have a patient that might be in a wheelchair or with altered weight bearing status, they can kind of wheel right up to it. They can step right on the back there. Yep, go ahead, Matt, and then step into the cockpit. And then they can reach down and pick it up through the blue pipes there, yep. We zipper the shorts right into the cockpit, so it's pretty easy to do. So then we're gonna turn the unit on. The unit has to calibrate. And we'll start to inflate. Basically take uh, the patient's body weight. That way when we then adjust the percent body weight we're working at, um, it's doing it as accurately as possible. They will feel like they're getting elevated and lifted up some during this. And then once it's calibrated, it'll take them back to full body weight. Um, basically at a normal stance at that point. As you decrease the body weight, I usually do it incrementally and allow the patient to get used to that level. So let's say we're gonna take this down mat and run at about 60% body weight. So I'll go down 10% at a time. And then I'll just have him do about three or four heel raises. So come up under your toes, good. Just to kind of get used to that different weight bearing. We're gonna adjust the incline and adjust the speed. We'll keep the incline level um, for Matt here. Um, but we'll start by just taking him into a walk. So go ahead and get you into a comfortable walk, just to get used to it. And then I'll let you self-select your pace. Go ahead and just turn it up to what would be a comfortable jog for you. The nice thing, obviously, is we have basically windows on all three sides, so we can take a look at mechanics, we can take a look at form, see what the foot's doing, see what the knees are doing. Typically, I'll take a look at their form, just to make sure. A lot of people went in there, that unweighted, um, that unweighted environment, they will almost hit too much of their toe, and you can just tell that their mechanics are different. So we look at that, ask the patient how they feel, see if they feel like their mechanics are as normal as possible. So let's say we wanted to kind of take him in an even more unweighted position, and the machine goes all the way down, let me take you all the way down, to 20% of body weight. So we'll incrementally go down. So now we're as unweighted as we can be with this machine. He is now running at 20% of his body weight. At that point, it is gonna be pretty challenging to run with normal mechanics because you are so elevated. The nice thing about this treadmill is it goes forward, but we can also do reverse. So if we're working with someone in their gait, on gait retraining, we can do backwards walking. We're kind of retro walking. If you're working on someone to improve their knee extension with ambulation, it'll go up to three miles per hour for backwards walking, um, but up to uh, 12 miles per hour when it's in the forward mode. Once you're done with your session, we recommend that you gradually bring them up back up to full weight bearing. So if he's at 50%, I'd go up by 10 to 15% at a time, have him do another two to three, three to four heel raises. And then go all the way to 100. Perfect. At that point, you can shut off the machine by hitting stop. As it deflates, then we can unzip. Perfect. Unlock the cockpit, lower it down. There you go. Turn around and step on out.